let's directly jump into the process or the procedure okay just uh, first you need to download the silence and tools uh, from the description below i have uh, added the link in the description if you click on the description you can find the link over there so after cl by clicking the link in the description on your in your mobile phone uh, you'll be able to download the uh, signage and more to less file from the internet after that go to settings just click on about phone and just check your android version as 4.4.4 and next go to build build number and click seven times on the build number to enable the developer options now just go back and click on developer options there you can see advanced boot just check that uh, advanced boot option and after selecting that you just need to go back and you, you just need to press the power button after pressing the power button uh, you just need to wait for the options select the second option reboot there you you need to select recovery and click on okay now the phone will bet will reboot and after some time uh, it gives the signage and recovery screen the process is very simple uh, you don't need to it's better if if you want to take the backup you just need to take the backup otherwise uh, this this process will not uh, uh, delete any data on your phone okay it will not uh, delete your user data now uh, from the phone okay the process is very uh, simple and it is very safe so here we got the signage and recovery screen so just click on the second option apply update and next select choose from internal storage so here uh, the file you will be able to see select o select o so here you will be able to see the uh, file so actually i kept the download in the my my uh, sanazan 12s file in the download folder so i'll be going there and i'll be selecting the file over there so i just want to show you all these folders so different types of folders so click on download and there you can see cm120 the pecon file uh, which i downloaded uh, from the internet so just click on it and it will take a boot so it will take some time so you should you, you just need to be patient for a little bit so it will take uh, it took around some 10 minutes for me uh, to complete the entire process so i just want to sh show you how it uh, reboots now so some small commands will run in the screen and after that you will be able to see the screen so after seeing the screen now click on wipe cache partition the fourth option and click reboot phone now the first option that's it you are done so now again the phone will boot reboot and the sinazen will get uh, sinazen mode the 12s the lollipop version will get uh, in installed in your uh, phone so the process is very simple you will not be you you won't be losing any of your data so all the data will be there in your phone and after this um, actually uh, by this time i have uploaded this uh, video actually i'm already using it uh, the sinus and 12s the so 12s is uh, very smooth on one plus one it is very good um, the performance is very good the even the battery backup everything is coming uh, i can say it is very good you will enjoy it on your one plus one uh, if you download the lollipop version of sanazen so it will show you android is upgrading it will take some time uh, depending upon the number of apps you have on your mobile if you have uh, uh, more apps it will take more time so here i can see I have around some 165 apps so it took around some 5 to 7 minutes uh, for me to upgrading after upgrading it will you can see the screen so now i'll show you uh, what are the new what is new in the android lollipop in sanas and mode so if you go to settings and then go to about phone and if you see the android version you can see 5.0.2 and if you click on it you can see the lollipop version and you will be able to see the uh sinus and version of uh, a small game the lollipop version so this is the version this is a small game which you'll get by tapping on the screen several times on the version 5.0.2 so here you can see the game 
and after that I'll show you uh, what is new in the Sanas and Tolas. So here you can see the notifications will, ar will arrive on the screen like this. You can simply swipe them and if you uh, drag from top you will be able to access the quick settings the Wi-Fi, internet, uh, Bluetooth, everything. So now if you click on settings if you go to notification drawer there you will be able to see the there you will be able to change the way uh, which quick settings you will be able to what you want the first so this is uh, customized in Synazen only in, in normal lollipop you won't be able to do it so here you can see uh, I can able to change the way the order of the files okay order the titles okay uh, according to my wish I can arrange them <coughs> So you can see uh, the order has changed according to the settings which I made earlier. So that's quite that's quite simple. And next you can see some in the display you can see one more thing, and you have new themes. And later you have uh, uh, and then if you go to display and lights, you can see. screen color screen color also you can see there are three modes standard vivid and custom standard is the normal default uh, screen color and vivid uh, the colors will be a little bit more brighter and everything and custom according to the user settings you can change the settings the hue saturation the contrast and uh, intensity everything so all these things you can change so I don't want to change anything uh, I don't want to mess up with my screen so I'll just want to hit cancel I just want to show you the option. This is a new option in the Sanajer Mode OS, uh, which is very interesting. If the user wants to change the screen color, he can go to this option and he can change the way it looks. Okay. So this is what about the new Android Lollipop. And if you have uh, if you have found uh, more options, please do comment below and please do let me know. And here you can see there's a lot of new ringtones also embedded in the new software. So. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share and comment and please don't forget to subscribe.